But for all they know, the, the, the jihadis and the Christians, what they believe could be false. Mm -hmm. The disciples, on the other hand, were dying for what they believe to be true. Why would such a group of people invent a resurrected Jesus who claimed he was God? That wasn't in their worldview, was it? Why would they do this if it didn't happen? You know, I don't I, 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 I don't know. I. I don't use that argument because I, I don't find it, it Robinson's argument very persuasive there. I mm -hmm. mean, um, I mean, so, someone could convince me of it, I suppose, but I'd want to ask them, well, what would have led Muhammad to come up with that view? What would have led Joseph Smith to come up with the view of the stuff? Uh, Smith's view was kind of countercultural. Um, Muhammad's view was certainly countercultural because most of them were polytheists at that time. So mm -hmm. um, what, what I would want to show, though, is that these folks who were following Jesus and saying that he rose from the dead ahead of the general resurrection, um, you know, why would they suffer continuously right. and willingly be at least be willing to die? And some of them at least did um, mm -hmm. and brutal deaths for the most part for this gospel proclamation if they knew that it was a lie. I mean, I think it was as Peter Kreft and uh, Ronald Toselli once said, liars make poor martyrs. Right. right. So um, it's one thing to say that like Muslims, they may uh, jihadists may die in jihad, for, but they're doing it for what they believe to be true. Mm -hmm. Christian martyrs today, those being martyred by the jihadis. Are, are dying for what they believe to be true. But for all they know, the, the, the jihadis and the Christians, what they believe could be false. Mm -hmm. The disciples, on the other hand, were dying for what they believe to be true. And there's they a big difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a different situation. The Muslim martyrs of today may think uh, Islam's true, but they didn't witness anything. Their, their faith didn't originate with their own senses seeing someone rise from the dead like the New Testament writers did. Apparently, they actually saw Jesus rise from the dead. So, yeah, many people will die for a lie they think is the truth, but nobody will die for a lie they know is a lie. And it seems to me, given the situation these New Testament writers and apostles were in, they could verify whether what they believed was true or not. So that's that's kind of the biggest difference I see between uh, the New Testament writers and the other martyrs that we have in other uh, religions.